What's good everyone, CJ Beats here. We're back at it again today. Today we're gonna make a Benny the Butcher type beat in Logic. Before that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified anytime I drop some new content. If you learned something new today, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you have something to add to the conversation, use the comment section below. Today's tutorial is gonna involve importing a soul sample, chopping it up, rearranging it, adding our own drums to it, and a fire bass line. Let's get into this video. Okay, I got a brand new instance of Logic open. Let's go ahead and add a software instrument. And uh, to chop the sample up today, we're going to use the quick sampler and stereo. Let's drag the sample and I'm going to use the original. Let's go over to slice. So it's automatically sliced, uh, you know, the sample for me. I'm going to go in there and basically delete some of the markers. Now, while I'm at it, I'm going to set my polyphony to mono. This way, anytime I start a new sample chop, it's going to cut off the other one. you got a good amount of chops in the samples you know let's go ahead and change the bpm here so i changed my bpm at around 80 uh just to match the sample a little more once you got your first section uh chopped up work on another section that we could chop up here All right, so once we got our sample chops ready, it's time to start adding some drums. What I think I'm gonna do here is add a, another quick sampler. that to a 16th note. I want the drums to knock a little more, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add a compressor to that. Let me pause right here. If you haven't already, sign up for my Patreon. You get to download all my project files anytime I drop a tutorial. Doesn't matter if you're not on Logic because I include the stems, the one-shot files, and the MIDI files, so you could use them in any DAW. It's only three bucks a month. If you're interested, go check out the link in the description. Let's get back to this beat.
So I'm just thinking about the arrangement already here since I got, you know, elements in the beat. And uh, I think I'm going to probably do something like this maybe. I'm going to bring in the Liverpool bass here and we're going to come up with a bass line that we can add to it. So for a little bit of variation there, change the uh, chop. Once you got all your elements in there, you know, you could start arranging the whole thing into a song format. So with boom bap beats like this, you don't really have to go crazy. You know, you just got to. Uh, make sure you got some fire elements in there and then, you know, add some some variation to the whole thing. But don't overdo it. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep them nice and simple. All right, I think this beat is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and have a listen to the finished product. Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial today. I hope you guys learned something new. Make sure to hit that subscribe and that bell so you're notified anytime I drop a new one of these. And as I mentioned before, also consider signing up for my Patreon. It's only three bucks a month. You get to download all of my project files anytime I drop a tutorial. And again, if you're not on Logic, don't matter because I include the stems, the MIDI, and the one shots for you to download and use in any DAW. My name is CJ and I'm out for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.